what's up guys fixing to head out for a little ride Whew. it is nippy out it's cloudy out and I don't know if it's gonna rain sleet snow or what you never know here so today I'm heading out on the old rally oh. my little baby it's the first bike I bought February 11th 2016 my baby my baby <laughs> so yeah gonna hit the road see what I can get into hope you tag along with me we'll see you like a bag of taters
all right what's up guys here at the bike park just riding around trying to enjoy myself I just wanted to touch on a little subject real quick and that is the subject of keeping up with cycling fashion uh, for me I don't care what I wear um, you do have a lot of snobs out there a lot of people that will look down on you laugh at you belittle you and make you feel like you're an idiot uh, just like you might would have when you were in grade school or high school whatever school it might have been that you were made fun of for what you wore um, as you can see by what I wear these shoes cost me $25 I bought them online these pants were probably not expensive my wife got them for me for Christmas I wear them a lot since I got them because they're insulated which is really great let me take these off I don't always wear glasses anymore because all they do is fog up so let me put them there for now um, this vest is from Walmart it was like twelve fifteen dollars this jacket was is from Walmart I think it was twelve dollars the t-shirt I have a volunteer Tennessee volunteers uh, orange sweatshirt on a hoodie underneath all of this my wife got that for me not because I'm a fan but because it's bright and it's something I can wear in early spring in early spring without all this stuff on and I can still be seen uh, and then underneath that I have a t-shirt uh, everything I wear is very uh, very unorthodox very not normal for most cyclists uh, this is the same kind of gear that I rode my hundred miles in uh, whenever I did that in February or March of 2017 uh, so yeah I rode a hundred miles and basically like what you're seeing um, you don't have to keep up with fashion this ain't a fashion show this is riding a bike uh, for some people I guess they can't handle the extra weight and that me I don't really care now I do like spring and summer I just wear a pair of t uh, a t-shirt and a pair of shorts or something uh, and that is nice but you know this extra weight don't bother me I pedal around just fine I'm not trying to break any records so and these glasses these safety glasses they were like four dollars at Walmart and I've had them for two years wear them all the time uh, besides here recently I've gotten to where I take them off periodically because they fog up and it just drives me crazy um, my bicycles aren't big super high dollar bicycles so you got guys out there riding around on two thousand five thousand ten thousand dollar bicycles and mine are under a thousand don't worry about it it's none of their business it doesn't matter my bikes go the same miles that their go that theirs goes so don't worry about keeping up with people uh, this is a sport it's a hobby this is a love and a joy and a passion that you should be able to enjoy no matter your budget so that's just a little uh, discussion I wanted to have I'm gonna hit the road um, see what else I can do that's why I like this bike because I can hop curbs and I come here to the bike park and I just kind of ramp around and don't do much but it's it's fun so all right I'm out of here
How y'all doing? Right. Doing good, doing good. I think that was cool. Good ride so far. Almost nine miles in. <gasps> still cloudy. Still cold. It's still not spring. Look at that. Dead trees and a dead cemetery.
think I'm gonna head towards uptown where I've been riding is downtown I'm gonna go uptown go down our busiest road take my chances like I always do so we'll see let's do this guys Whew. just got home that was a good ride and I rode more miles on my little urban shredder than I did my road bike I got in 17.6 miles not bad for kicking around town oh, had a good ride but I'm ready to be home <sighs> the cold the gloomy weather tiny bit of wind wind ain't bad just you feel a tiny bit anything feels bad when it's cool out and I have on multiple layers and whew, I'm ready to be home <clears throat> so to uh, go back to my previous discussion just real quick for a sign off about uh, bicycle snobs and uh, what they wear and how they look at you if you don't dress like them and what have you. Um, just wanted to say that also on my helmet, uh, um, I think it was maybe $50, something like that. My wife, it's one that I picked out and my wife got it for me for Christmas. It came with a, uh, like a visor thing that, um, has a magnet. <coughs> has three magnets and it pops on I don't wear it that's kind of what I wanted it for was to wear that but I've never worn it so anyway my helmet that, that's probably an average uh, price helmet actually um, but it's nothing special um, and also to say if you're going to do races and you're going for PRs and you're doing all that kind of stuff <coughs> By all means, uh, dress in a certain way that it will allow you to do those things uh, faster and easier. That's that's totally acceptable. It, I'm just talking about for those that think they have to follow the trend and uh, and that like to look down at people that dress like this, you know, just normal clothes. Um, that's what I was talking about. Um, but yeah, anyway. Just wanted to touch up on that. Uh, there is a time and place. So, um, I'm going to go in here, uh, grab something to eat, probably some soup. Good old Campbell soup or something. I don't know what it's going to be. And I'm going to get this video edited, uploaded. And don't forget to watch my videos. I hope you enjoy them. I do all this for free. No monetization. No ads that I'm aware of. I do it because I love it. It's fun. I hope to inspire people to do things. Um, so yeah. And don't forget. You can get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it. Even when it's chilly, cloudy, and yucky out.
We'll see you later.